Hi, this is Rupal Tyagi here, and you're watching me on Dharmista's Diary. First of all, let me thank each and every one of you for giving our previous video so much love, so many views. I think this is the first time that uh, any Big Boss contestant has got so many views online before entering the house, and I'm I'm actually very obliged. So thanks, each and every one of you. Also, I think this was the first time a television actor was trending on Twitter India. So seriously. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. I know that I was in Big Boss for a very short time, but with so much love, I think I've got what I wanted. <laughs> so let me start with some questions that you guys have sent for me and answer them in my own words with no edits. So Dharmista, thank you so much for that. Okay, no one can twist my words around here. First of all, okay, how was my experience in the Big Boss house? My experience in the Big Boss house was. Um, very short uh, i learned a lot in those two weeks those 14 days which felt like 14 years of my life but at the same time it's too much to take in uh, the whole experience when you hear about it you very well know that it's going to be tough and it's going to be very difficult and you'll have to live without your basic amenities and all that you're very well aware of but to read about it to hear about it and to actually be there are two very different things um it's if i have to put it in specific words this is how i'm going to describe my experience it was torture that taught me how to appreciate little things in life so it really taught me all of that you know some some things which are basic like talking to your loved ones every day you may not realize how much that means to you till you actually don't get it basic things like water coffee tasty food it's actually very difficult to live without these things and still be in your senses so it's i think that's why everyone in the house is losing their minds so that's how my experience was okay was i expecting this before i entered uh yes i was expecting uh, my journey to be very tough and i knew that i'm a very strong person and i'll be able to handle it and uh, still be calm and cool and composed and be myself most importantly but when i was actually in there i realized that there was one more aspect which i didn't really consider which was the negativity aspect uh everyone fights on the smallest of things so for example if i do this in normal life i don't think anybody would react to that but in the big boss house people fight people fight and fight and fight and because you're confined in those four walls there is so much negativity i took about a week to understand how to cut that negativity out and also there was a lot of footage that was not shown the parts where me the gangana vikas and all the others were actually happily sitting and singing and dancing and doing household work all that was cut off i even started my own diaries in the show kind of you know i used to speak to the camera give out messages to my friends none of that was shown but that's okay that's entirely the makers call maybe that's not the kind of happy content that they want so it looks like in the very first week me and the gangana were so quiet but trust me we girls have had a blast i would make her sing and i would dance and i would make vikas sing and i would dance so i had a fabulous time in the first week the second week became impossible to live in that house i mean people had already started fighting and and i just wanted to get out desperately okay was it awkward being in the same house as ankit gera this is one question which everybody has been asking me and has been twisting my words around and i'm so glad i can clear this out one on one with you guys first of all the first two days between me and ankit gera were very awkward uh, very negative and um, there were certain taunts that were happening not just from his end even from my end because there was a lot of negativity between us but the third day onwards third fourth fifth sixth seventh day we were very neutral with each other very neutral very normal we felt like ex colleagues so the negativity that was there that was just initially there and after that things were very plain and simple and normal and hence it was not shown because there was no there was no drama there was no masala in that and um, then he got eliminated and i felt responsible for that elimination uh, because i nominated him but that's okay i think now uh, if me and ankit gera bump into each other we'll be very cordial with each other which is i think a good thing so yes that's to answer your question there was this footage shown where you were crying after ankit's elimination 
did I really okay so yes like I think I answered that in my previous question only but uh, what happened was I nominated him first two days you know the negativity that was there between us because of that and then things became normal and then I had this whole discussion with Digangana in the house where I said uh, I think galat nomination ho gaya hai and uh, we had a long chat over it which was very happily cut off from the footage so please end them all colors if you can release that footage it will be really nice and helpful but you didn't so i was feeling guilty about the fact that i nominated somebody who is quite normal with me now and when he was eliminated first of all all 13 people cried all 13 because first week's elimination is always very emotional because there is not much of a fight or anything that has happened between people so the whole house was crying but the focus was entirely on me obviously and i must have cried for about 10 minutes but in a 45 minutes footage it looks like oh my god she's cried so much but it was not that and i am a very emotional person and i was feeling guilty that uh, i nominated him and he got eliminated because i thought he was one of those perfect contestants for big boss and his elimination did come as a shock to me because i was expecting somebody else to get eliminated that day but that didn't happen and so i cried and and then the whole house came to console me like as if oh my god pata nahi kya ho gaya and i had cried like a million times before that but that time nobody came and this time everybody wanted to come because they knew you know this is the footage which will actually be shown and it looked it came across as though she's crying so much and i even mentioned while crying that this is so stupid i nominated him and i'm crying that was also edited off so you need to understand that this is a particular kind of game show there is a particular kind of image that the uh, makers want to create of each individual which is what they did with me which is fair enough it's their game show they can do whatever they want but this is my justification for the crying and please trust me i'm sure if someone is crying in a fake way they won't look that bad while crying because i was actually crying and i was not in my senses for about 10 15 minutes that night yes and that also made my mom and dad really really worried about me by the way so i wouldn't do that just to you know prove a point please understand <laughs> all right why do you think you were out in the second week after so much support from fans yeah now this is another question which uh, i was also kind of wondering that my fans there are so many of them i know for a fact that you all are supporting me and uh, when i was when i nominated myself I wanted to get out desperately that's why I saved the gangana and I nominated myself because I did want to get out desperately and I would pray every day that please don't vote for me please let me go out I am not made for this show and I think somewhere it was you know god answering my prayers or whatever but another logical uh, reason to that is that for a show like big boss you need to give certain kind of content to be visible on the show which I don't think I gave a lot of people also didn't give but i didn't give that kind of content that they wanted hence i was less visible and hence i was taken off from the show and uh, i'm very happy after coming out and my parents told me that the happiest that we've seen you in these two weeks was when you were out on stage with salman khan and i'm and i know for a fact that even you guys have been writing that 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 was the happiest i looked in the house because that's the truth i'm not made for such shows so yeah maybe that's why i was i was eliminated because i wasn't giving enough footage <laughs> okay you were seen very rarely on screen what's the reason i think again i've answered that question in my previous answer i was not seen because it's not that i was not talking me and the gangana and vikas and rimi and keith rochel we have been singing and dancing every day from the day we entered because the first week was very hunky dory happy happy everybody's friendly with everybody and uh, me and roshal had the south indian connect and we would sing songs and we had the same school rhymes and everything so there was this great bonding not bonding bonding as such but we were spending a lot of time together so was the gangana the gangana would sing with me and i would dance with her we were tied and i would be like the gangana go and i would start dancing none of that was shown and we would keep ourselves busy in household chores because we didn't want to get involved in the politics because both of us are not like that so i don't think we were shown because that footage was not worth showing i'm assuming i don't know but could be that could be the reason okay so why were you and digangana always quiet oh my god me and digangana quiet it's 
I am shocked that that's the way we were portrayed outside because we were two girls who would never shut up. We were gossiping, we were singing, we were working, we've done everything possible. We've had a gala time, in, especially in the first four five days. So it's it's surprising that none of that was shown. So even I don't know have an answer to that. But I'm telling you that we have danced and we've been singing and and having a ball in the first few days. Your opinion of Digangana? Okay, Digangana. When you first meet her, when I first met her, I had a very different image of her. I I knew her as somebody who has a lot of attitude, who speaks with a fake accent, and uh, you know is there to create a particular image of hers. But none of that is actually true. She's actually just an 18-year-old girl, very sensible, very much of her age, and at the same time very innocent. I had certain issues with her in the second week. uh but that was more like you know how your siblings don't go to your parents and crib and say you know wo ye kar rahi hai usne na aise kiya na wo na bilkul aise karti hu main pareshan ho gayi hu so i think it was just that and uh, she's one person i would want to keep in touch with even after the show and get to know her better so that's my opinion of the gangana she's sensible smart and she's just a kid how was your equation with the gangana i think that question has been answered we were very friendly we were labeled the high school girls of the show and i think we were very happy with the tag because that's all we did we would sing uh, justin bieber songs we would sing selena gomes and and dance so that is all we've done in the house who is the most fake okay fake i don't know if this person is fake but the meanest cruelest and most selfish person in the house is mandana she's playing a very smart game she cries when she has to which i don't think is real so maybe then i can label her fake uh, mandana doesn't care about anybody in the house and she's made that quite clear and and vocal but uh, fact is that when you're living with 14 people you need to be a little considerate a little humanity sake but even that's not there and uh, at times i would find her sitting alone so i would go sit with her and talk to her that's when i realized that even when i'm sitting with her she's still playing the game trying to gossip and get footage out of that so i would just get up and then eventually after 10 minutes after nodding my head walk off from there she's one person i will not want to keep in touch with after this show no matter what happens because she tried to use me and the gangana and uh, is still using keith and rochel after the first week when she realized she was very isolated she thought i need friends now so she thought kiske paas jao oh the high school girls so she came to me and the gangana and she would spend a lot of time with us and trust me i don't like that woman not at all who is the most genuine okay uh vikas bhalla is the most genuine man in on that show he is not uh, scheming planning when he's angry it shows when he's irritated it shows when he's happy it shows he's very genuine and he's a very seedha person in 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 my opinion a very nice man somebody i would love to get to know again after the show who do you want to win i want keith sequera to win he's genuine he's uh, sensible he's smart at the same time he's playing a good strong game in a nice way not in a bad way so i really want keith sequera to win he's genuinely nice and he's a gentleman he deserves to win the game show strongest participant okay strongest participant in terms of somebody who's going to garner a lot of footage and has come very well prepared for the show is kishwar suyash mandana and kishwar and suyash have prince as a part of their plan and uh, i am so sure that they knew prince before entering the house because uh, we have certain common friends who i would not want to name who are just who's just an acquaintance to me he called me before entering the show and said please have princess back so if he can call an acquaintance and say please have princess back i know for a fact that that guy is very close friends with kishwar and suyash would have called him called them too and said you know this is my friend who's going in meet plan make strategies whatever so they've come very well prepared and i can be in trouble by actually letting out this information but i don't care since any which way my image has come out as the honest and the blunt one that's what i am okay would you want to go in again as a wild card entry no <laughs> no that house is very negative uh because people fight on little little things and i don't want to go in but uh, if the makers decide to put me in i'll have to go because it's in the contract so i will go and i promise you i will do everything to come out as soon as possible because i'm not made for a game show like that i'm too 
simple, straightforward, seedha to be in the house. They will not get any footage from me. So leave me out. Don't put me in. I am happy to be in the daily. So yeah, that's that. I think I've answered all your questions, guys. If there's anything else, of course, there's always Dharmishta and there's me. So y'all can directly get in touch with us. I'm so glad that this interview will not have any of my words twisted around and um, portrayed in any other way. For that, I seriously want to thank you, Dharmishta, for being a part of my life, for being a part of my entire Big Boss uh, Double Trouble journey. So, thank you so much and thank you so much, guys, for actually loving me for the way I am and accepting me even though you all hardly saw me on the show. I came out and I was very pleasantly surprised by all the love and the support because we housemates, we don't know what's going out in the, you know, in the real world. So I'm, I'm thankful, I'm extremely happy and I'm going to spend the next few days just chilling with my friends and family and loved ones and the real people of, of this planet. So thank you guys so much and I will see you guys soon. Thank you Dharmishta. <laughs>